So your girl keeps living in the past and bringing up old shit. You don't understand why she just won't let it go. Let me try to convey to you what she can't when she's speaking from her place of anger. So I've noticed that a lot of the men I talk to usually have the same complaint about their relationship. I cheated. It came out. I'm trying to move ahead with her, but she won't let it go. I'm confused. Like. So what's wrong with boundaries? I mean, what do you mean by boundaries? I'm, I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. It's How? really making me uncomfortable. It is your mom, but she 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 doesn't know boundaries. Tell her, what don't you understand? Okay, so can you can you? Alright, so I'm gonna give you an example. So if we was to go on vacation, or I don't do want to hear no example. What I'm about how I feel? So I um I I I did a thing last night. I did something that I shouldn't feel bad for, but I feel so disgusting. Yeah. 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 Good people, good people. Yeah, boy. How y'all doing in this lovely... Summertime feeling night. Yeah, you know I'm saying, Los yes. Dark Gable got my man CD over here. Listen, man, y'all already know. You know what I mean? You know what I, mean? I do a lot, but, but I don't ever do the most. And then look, 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 and then you know who's over of here. Of course, you know who's over when here. We gonna no let her take it. Introduction, Miss Honey Dip. Honey, honey Dip. Spicy habanero <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Fajita. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know saying this your podcast this crew, y'all. This podcast. in the building. Like, subscribe, yeah. and comment. Yeah, you sure heard the woman, goddamn. And then that thug with me tonight, yo. You heard the woman. Hey, hey, listen. First of all, man, we need them sixers to do their thing. Oh tonight, man, they, they down <laughs> at the half. Sixers, for real. They down at the half. Not by a lot, but we'll see. Damn. We Come will see. Point me, goddamn it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, before we get started, let me say this first, man. I was so I listened to uh, NBC Philadelphia Sports, and they was dogging Tobias. Mm. Oh my god, he light skin. Yeah, is, is that what it is? Mm. Yeah, light skin, light skin don't get no play. Mm -hmm. Damn, he light Look, skin. Yeah, right? like it used to be. It used to be where the, the light skin guys got all the play, and then the dark skin guys it was just like. They were like stepchildren. Yeah, well, that, was, yeah. that was an 80, yeah. that was an 89. See, see, that's because all the women, all the dark skinned women like the light skinned guy. Well, once Nino yeah, Brown man. came. Oh, it was a wrap. Got rid of that. Yeah, I mean, it was our turn right there, boy. Sit You're your five dollar ass down. Who? You. Who? You talking about? Girl, you ain't I'm dark skin. I'm black as midnight. No, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. What would you consider? Don't steal my thunder, God damn it. Hey, you still mine light when I say I'm honey. <laughs> I'm honey. Like you like my complexion, maybe just a tad bit darker, but you ain't dark skin. <sighs> Too much honey to get your cavities, man. Holy hey, I'm shit. <laughs> sweet oh, honey, sorry. sweet. <laughs> just can't you just can't consume too much. <laughs> Whatever, yo. Hold on, man. Let me make sure we got this thing. Oh man, so listen, y'all. Welcome to this on podcast. As usual, we got a great show for y'all tonight. We got five videos to react to. Sit back, enjoy the show. Have some laughs with us. Sit your five dollar ass down before we make change. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Now tonight, I'm gonna tell you to repeat that again. Repeat that again for the people in the back that like to hate. Oh, for our haters, listen. Let me tell y'all right yeah. now. If y'all <laughs> hating on us, man, we love it. Yeah, you know what I mean, we we got called everything under the sun, boy. They say, they, listen. They say if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. So right. <laughs> looks like we about to start popping. You know what I'm saying? We've been called idiots, clowns, clowns. You don't know what you're talking about. We don't about. know what we're talking about. I accept it all. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Half the time I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So if you're going to follow my advice, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stare you off a cliff, God damn it! Please don't listen to him. Please, please, Don't listen please, to me. Please. I'm like, yo, you better make that left turn. What? No, 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 cliff. Turn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is your podcast, y'all. As usual, guess who's Bazak still selling crack in my clothes? 
Don't let CJ relapse on you hoes. No, no, <laughs> no relapsing for me. No. My relapse days are over. I'll stick a fork in me. I'm done. Yeah. No, sir. Y- y'all know he the player president. Mm-mm, not no more. <laughs> I he used to be. Yeah, I, I retired. I mm-hmm. traded in my car back in 2019. Was and, it 2019 um, or was it just no. 19 minutes ago? No. Damn. <laughs> It was 2019. Uh, you know. <laughs> oh man, so shall shall we get the um, the first video started, man? Let's shall, go, let me let's see. Go. Shall, do, do I got this? How, how dare you try to just like change the subject? Let the hit been me, and you would have been like, oh no, T. Like, but let 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 CJ, your man Siege. You know, talk up, and then you want to get off the topic that he's like, he's not part of, he's no, not the president no more. I like, used really? to be in the F Boy Society, very heavy. <laughs> you know, I was, um, I think I made it up to vice president, but um, you know, I had to let go of those. I thought you said you was president a couple, a couple episodes ago. I said I not only was a client, I was a player president, but mm-hmm. that's not president. Yep, yep. Yes, that's, that's a different role. But you know, I listen. I'm delivered. Delivered so, with the T, everyone. With mm-hmm. the T. Delivered I'm, with the T. I'm wholesome. I'm exactly. in the house. Exactly. So we're gonna get this thing here started, y'all. Let's, Let's get go. it going. So we got the first video. Okay. First video. So we got a woman gives a detailed explanation on why women live in the past and it's hard for y'all women to let shit go. Is that the truth, T? Yeah, it is. But let's let's see what she has to say first, and then and then we'll I'll we'll, elaborate. Oh my God, here she go, man! I about to say we'll discuss, elaborate, discuss. Yeah, you know I'm saying hey. where, where peanut at? Peanut. Yeah. Hey, hey Julio, it's this true <coughs> podcast. Oh. oh, let's go. So your girl keeps living in the past and bringing up old shit. And you don't understand why she just won't let it go. Let me try to convey to you what she can't when she's speaking from her place of anger. So I've noticed that a lot of the men I talk to usually have the same complaint about their relationship. I cheated. It came out. I'm trying to move ahead with her, but she won't let it go. Well, the first thing I need you to understand is that your five minutes of pleasure caused her a lifetime scar. The number one excuse I always hear is that didn't mean anything to me. She needs to just let it go. But let me explain this. That meaningless situation to you, whether you did it out of boredom, out of curiosity, out of opportunity, that one situation completely knocked her world upside down. Somebody just came in and pulled the rug from right up under her. And everybody doesn't process that the same. Now, when you do this to a good woman, she's left trying to put the pieces to this puzzle together once the shit comes to light. And she's trying to figure out why did this happen? How did this happen? What did he see in her that he didn't see in me? And God forbid you're one of those ones that after it all comes to light, you just keep on lying about the whole situation you just piling the lies up so now she has to dissect everything because she wants to know why why would the person that she loves most turn around and be the person that hurts her the worst that is what happens when you cheat on a good woman she's going through all of these emotions she really doesn't know how to handle it everything is suspect now and it's just not making sense to her so what do women do when something is just disorganized we try to put the pieces to the puzzle back together and in the midst of that she She's going to be angry. She's going to lash out because she is scarred. She is hurt. No, she can't get over it because she still has so many questions that are unanswered because you won't tell the truth. She's angry because while she was being the woman that you needed her to be, you let another bitch who wasn't worthy have the one up on her. And now every good memory that she has with you is filled with doubt. She's looking back on old photos or thinking about old times where she thought you guys were happy. And she's wondering, damn, was any of it real? Was he cheating then? See, she's trying to process all of these emotions because everything is just a blur for her. So try to understand that when you are dealing with somebody who feels like they have been betrayed to their core, they are not going to process that at the rate that you want them to process it at. And they're not going to be able to heal from that as quickly as you may want them to. It is a true statement that trust takes tons of time to build and seconds to destroy. And what I'm really trying to get you to see is that everything that you put into her to get her to be that good woman to you, you have now destroyed. And in order to fix that, you are going to have to replenish what you've ripped from her. So, yeah, I'm not saying that she doesn't have to do the necessary work in order to allow that to happen. All I'm trying to get you to do is understand where she's coming from. And if you truly love that woman, you'll put the work in. So wait, wait, wait. So T, I want you to start this off, T. Yes. T, I want to know. I want to know. So why would you want to stay with a man that breaks your heart, 
and then put him through all of these hoops and changes and and sudden emotional madness why why do women do that okay so it's not intentional a lot of times the women do that is because they're in love and they figure okay well you know what i, I love, love this man I, I done invested this time i invested this money i don't want to have to start all over again because you got to understand it's like meeting somebody new and starting a whole new relationship all over again and playing them games sometimes people don't want to have to do that so they figure okay well you know what if he cheated you know maybe i can get over it but at the end of the day a lot of times once you know because you mm -hmm. know a woman can have that intuition that you know th their man is cheating or whatever but once you have that verification it's like nine times out of ten every time you look at that man you're envisioning him with another woman but you still stay with him you know what i mean and to me to me maybe it's a man thing it doesn't make sense if if, if you know every time you look at your mate face and you see him <laughs> body slamming another female. Yeah, but you never know. You know, what I mean? you know you're going to get mad. So why why would you stay? You never know the circumstances. Sometimes the circumstances could be financial. Sometimes, you know, she could be relying on him or they could be relying on each other. So let's just say if they're living together and... Go ahead. Uh, CJ, please, please. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Try to make... After CJ just, didn't want to hear book, man, now we want to hear feedback from CJ, really? Well, why not? Okay, all right, I'll be nice. Listen, I'm, I'm on total BS tonight. So, number one, okay, she said all that. She had a whole dissertation. That's fine. Oh, cool. Lord, here you go. But at the end of the day, it's funny. Women always got the t intuition that the man is cheating, but they don't never got the intuition that the man is unhappy. So, like, again, I take what she's saying. I get it. I understand. I, yes, because I used to be that guy. I was a cheater and all. I get it. I get it. <laughs> He was a president. But at the end of the day, it's like, like you said, if you want to, you stand for what? What you stand for? So can I ask you a question, CJ? Yes. Is that the only reason why men cheat is because they're unhappy? Because not, what if not, the man is happy no. and he cheats? Listen, so there's there's a couple different type of men, only maybe like three. There's the greedy guy who just... You know, he can't help himself. He's just tempted and he just cannot resist his temptation. He's just being greedy and selfish. That's him. Then the most most of the guys, because most guys that I talk to, the reason why they cheated is because they were unhappy. And the one thing that has happened with a lot of women is that you try to bring something to their attention and they brush it off. Or they hit you with the with the blame game. Well would well, you in 1997 when you it's like, bro, I'm telling you right now, I'm not cool with this. This is this ain't feeling good. <laughs> this ain't right. And they push it to the side. And again, I, I'm not saying that cheating is right, but it's like, hey, if I bring an issue to you, hey, I want you to solve it because you the person that I really like. But if you're gonna brush it to the side, yeah, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a weak moment. And yeah, I didn't did some <laughs> something I wasn't supposed to do. Yeah. So like, if she the way she was saying it, like she was saying it, like every woman that gets cheated on is a good woman that's and not the truth but, and, and that's the thing yeah, so the it, truth. It, it has to be it, we we gotta compartmentalize this so it's like at the end of the day was you really being a good woman because there's a lot of women out there that think that they're good women and they are not yeah just because you cook and just because you clean and just because you do little things okay every man that's not their standard i'm again mm. most men say like oh, i want a woman that provides peace Peace don't just mean like she's a chaotic. Peace mean like how you talk to me. Right. I'm not one of yeah. your friends. Be respectful. Yeah. 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 I seen this lady, this one lady like on me. This one lady on. Um, I don't want peace. I want problems. Always. <laughs> oh, I, I, I seen this one lady on Instagram and she said the one thing she said when it comes to my king, no matter if I'm upset or whatever, I have to respect that he's my king. So I'm always going to talk to him a certain way. And a lot of women don't have a discernment. And at the end of the day, the reason why you do that is because as a queen, you want your king to do the same to you. So because it's, it's, it's about being mature and, and, and speaking in a mature adult manner. But, mm -hmm. and, but at the end of the day, the one thing that is a, is, that's a standard to all men in any relationship is respect. Right. And a yeah. lot of women, they don't have, the, they don't have a discernment. There's women that when they mad, they t they'll talk about your mama, you know, mm. sit like, it's like at the end of the day, okay, we, even if I did make a mistake, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll admit to it. Yeah. You know what? I'm sorry. I, I, yeah. I was on some BS, 
Women or as men, we have to have discernment because we can't hit you, we can't talk to you a certain way because it's like, damn, I can't do that. I'm a man. But women don't have that same discernment. They'll go off the off the wall on you, yeah. and it's like, well, wait, do you really like me, or do you only like me when I when I'm when it, when it's going good? <laughs> it just don't. Sometimes it don't make sense. So yeah. it's like I'm not condoning cheating. I'm not. But I'm just saying, like every woman ain't as great as they think they are. Yeah, so before we go to the last word real quick, give a big shout out to my man L Boogie in the building, y'all. What's L up? Boogie, Jaleel Warren in the building. What's up? Mr. Jaleel Warren. Yeah, L Boogie. L Boogie in the house. So quick, uh, T, last word. Yep. Any last word before I go to the comments? No, I'm good. I mean, you know, a lot of what she said is the truth, but once again, like what, what CJ was saying, it's not, not, it's, it's, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a good woman to be cheated on. So I, I want to nah. make that known, like, Anybody can get cheated on. Oh yeah, for sure. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. And there are multiple look, reasons. Oh right, look, I, I know savages out there. I do yeah. too. Who, who just cheat just to I, cheat? Yeah, you know I mean, I, I know some savages. I know out there. some real boys that don't <laughs> care. They you don't. I mean? They will but, take. They will take care of their wife. Take care of the house. Everything. Yeah, man. Still be out there and thing. still be like, yeah, You're I'm gonna busy. go bomb something tonight. You be like, damn. <laughs> well, look, hold on. So, in the comment of the video, one commenter says that goes both ways. Another commenter said she just serving the word salad and no nutritional value. She's blaming men for women insecurities. <laughs> Look at that. What the hell? Let me show the face over there. No. Look at it. <laughs> the last I comment said, nah, <laughs> figure out why I cheated in the first place before yeah, you go okay. back and do it again. OK, I agree with that one. You because, agree? Yes, I do. Because once again, it's like a lot of times from what I've seen, and I'm not this way. However, a lot of times women think that the men has to cater to them all the time. However, it's a two way street. A relationship is two people. So not only should that man cater to you and make sure that you're good and whatever, whatever means that you need. However, you supposed to cater to that man, too. And a lot of times what happens is women fall off and then they're like, OK, yeah, he's cheating. Yeah, he's cheating. Why? Like, what did you do? What did you stop? So hmm. a lot of times people don't look at that. I feel you. I feel you. Listen, make sure you drop a comment, drop a like. Tell us a what comment, you think. Yes, drop a like is. and yeah. subscribe. You heard the woman. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying. That's honey dip spicy. Honey hot, dip tea. Habanero honey over there. Honey dip tea. Jalapeno. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, old spicy sauce. You know what I'm saying? So let's show. We shout out to the second video. Yeah. Let's go. Number two. So what we got? We got video number two. So, and listen, so this teleprompters now so I can't read it from there so I'm now I'm reading it from the computer over there that's why you can't see my lovely face and how to hit the Vanna White yeah. oh, shit. Vanna okay saucing on these oh. yeah. Vanna chocolate you mean yeah, yeah there you okay. go Vanna right. yeah. chocolate yeah. Mm. yeah you know what I'm saying holla at your boy <laughs> no diddy no, no diddy <laughs> <laughs> alright listen we have a guy who fights back his tears after blasting his girl for cheating yeah. Uh, all right. I don't like this video. It right. happens to us all, please. Yeah. Yeah. Man. But we're going to let you start it's this all right here. Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Hey, you don't even know, bro. I don't know if you guys know, but I was a stepdaddy. I did everything for this girl. I fed her child. I treated her good. I gave her home, paid no bills, everything for free, free of car, gas money, everything. I bought that car seat, matter of fact, I bought her daughter clothes, I bought her daddy food, everything, just for her to go and cheat on me with the with the father of the baby. Lesson learned, guys. Don't ever trust a fucking bitch. I fixed that shit up, she fucked it up, I fixed it, I tried my best to fix that, I bought her that, I put gas in it, I did everything, everything that's in here, I fucking bought her, she lived with me rent free, nothing, just for her to fucking cheat on me, bro. Lesson fucking learned, guys. Don't ever trust a fucking bitch. All that over some fucking dick. Well, you guys, oh my god, bestie, oh my god, she, yeah, she's kind of famous on TikTok, but nigga, she's not the person who you think she is. Everybody go fucking hate on this bitch, nigga. Real niggas like me. Real niggas like me don't deserve this shit. Real niggas like me don't deserve this shit, bro. Fuck a bitch, nigga. Never again, never in my fucking life, nigga. Fuck a bitch, bro. Never a fucking again, nigga. Fuck this fucking bitch, bro. On my mama, bro. I did everything for her just for her to do this to me. Never in my fucking life. Show your fucking face. What? Never again, bro. Fuck. You have to say he's drinking palms away. See? I yeah. knew you win. I had a friend. <laughs> this goes back to the other video. Uh, 
Uh, he is not. He is not being respectful. Like, why are you calling her a bitch and all his that? His feelings stuff? hurt. I it understand hurt. his feelings is hurt. However, also at the same thing, the same time, what I'm like, what I'm like, really thinking about is like, okay, were you with her because you loved her, or were you with her so you can count how much money you put into her? Like, why did you have to keep saying how much you bought and what you did? Because, like, if you're in a relationship with for somebody, you don't sit there and count. No, because when your feelings hurt, you think about like, damn, I put all. <laughs> this money to this I could have been outside with the hoes I could have been outside with the hoes putting the money on the bar and I was spending it on you like damn so I mean I understand he he he's freshly hurt yeah so yeah different. yeah y'all you can hear the yeah. hurt yeah, he, was, hear, trying to, yeah, he was trying to hold back yeah, those tears yeah, right. yeah you don't cry you don't over cry some you, you don't cry over the woman that you don't like he really liked no, he, her no, if she no, was just he a, probably, he probably if she was just her. a pass along or something alright cool whatever but you could tell he really liked her so that's why you know stay up player all I'm gonna say is if you're going if you're gonna be petty about it, be all the way petty and repossess that car seat. Damn. I'm, I'm, I'm well according yeah, to him, like, everything no, in the car yeah, he bought. It, it, so what you mean repossess the car seat? Then, you know, I'm repossessing everything. That's just petty. Just take now, it. if you're going to be petty, be all the way petty. I wouldn't even not Yeah, listen. because now at this point, now you're putting a child in danger. Ain't my child. Ain't my child. Oh, my God. That's so your if fault. You, I mean, if you're going to petty do why? something, if you're going to do for something for somebody, don't just sit there and count all the all the blessings that you did and then like okay now i'm gonna take it back well, that's, that's, not the what, that's the reason why you do. Yeah, that's you the reason why he was in the predicament he in now because he was doing everything for her and she still cheated she cheated I got with the baby back. daddy how could the baby daddy ain't buy that car seat how come the baby daddy didn't fix that car they both young she didn't know what the hell she wanted no we ain't making that excuse i'm not I, making I, an excuse i'm gonna tell you what she wanted i'm not making no excuse i'm just saying you i'm gonna know, tell you, it I'm gonna tell you what she, you know what she wanted that dick. Oh God! <laughs> no, no. We said last week you wasn't saying it no more. Cause remember you said it. I said I get one more. I said I get one more. Now I'm putting you on punishment. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Time out. Listen. <laughs> Listen. At the end of the day. <laughs> It's tough because like you really gotta pay attention to the relationship. Well, that that that's a baby car seat. That ain't like no booster seat. So that kid is mm -hmm. young. So gotta you gotta pay. Baby. Too. So you yeah. gotta pay attention to the relationship. Like, okay, they may not be together, but if a baby's that young, you gotta ha if, if you got two good parents, they're gonna have a lot of communication because the baby's so small. So as you gotta be you gotta pay attention. Is the is the communication in the open? Do she only talk to the boy when she in the room by herself? Like you gotta pay attention to those signals because it's like if they talking in the open and the cool is like, all right, I mean they still could be doing something, but at least you know like the guy's aware. But if she just doing stuff in the dark, it's like you already know. She going to pound town with homie. And it's easy too because at the end of the day, she could go to this house to get something. Right, and, and it's always, like, it can it can be an easy. Yeah, and she like. Oh, he, I'm dropping the baby off, or you know, yeah. she's like, the baby's going to go spend time with her dad. She, yeah, 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 she was dropping. She was she was dropping. Yeah, she was dropping something off. Her. <laughs> yeah, I mean that wasn't that was she was dropping. The, yeah, that wasn't that baby. <laughs> she was dropping the boom. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I feel yeah. sorry for my stay up play now. Listen. Cause listen, not a baby. I didn't have a baby in the situation, but the same thing happened to me, and it turned me to a savage. So that man—that's when he became the player president. That man right there, he's going. I know if this is recent. Oh, this summer he gonna tear the summer up. Yeah, this is a wrap for the summer. I mean, so any anything closing? Any closing? Any closing comments? No, I'm good. Read the I, comments. I, mean, I said I said what I had to say. I mean, like it kind of sort of runs in with the, with the first one. So, but yeah. like I said once again, like. <clears throat> respect goes a long way i'm not going to sit here and i can call you a bitch inside but like to somebody's face and all that i, I just felt as though that was a bit disrespectful yeah i mean he was he was, hurt. he was being yeah, he yeah, was he was hurt. He he probably, was i'm hurt. pretty yeah, sure see, he here go. now y'all being contradictory because just the first the first video y'all just said okay be respectful respect goes both ways first of all don't be turning your damn back on me <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to, y'all about to see me slap him. Y'all about to see me slap him. Yeah, man. Y'all about to get out this seat and slap him. <laughs> Did you say slap or spank? S slap, Whoa. slap, slap. Spank is slap. crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, 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 listen. So, one commenter said, 
baby mamas be on survival mode and using you guys to stay afloat. That's not true. Not all of them. Not, not all of them. No, I know. I know a lot of baby mamas that, that hold it yeah, down, that do their thing. So I ain't gonna let them put right. that. Another commenter said, even with all the warnings. One of you dummies <laughs> oh, are gosh. about to do the same thing. <laughs> That's why I say you got to pay attention to the signals. You got to see how she moving around th- that man. See if he coming around. Is he is he still showing signs of jealousy or signs of like possession or whatever? Because mm-hmm. women like that kind of like, oh, he possessive on me. So I'm telling okay, you. Okay, so basically you saying when somebody's possessive, that means there's still something going on. That's not. No, no, case. no. I'm not saying that something's going on, but I'm just saying like that means their relationship <clears throat> it could be deeper. Like if she if if he can say something and she make a move or if he could do something and she's oh i gotta go to his house and get like you're like wait 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 what you gotta pay or vice versa if she if she's possessive mm. and she like you need to come here and bring me milk and, uh, and he just get right up or right, i gotta go. then it's like yeah you their, their relationship you something yeah, some, they, some some you they, gotta say something's there they yeah, still connected i'm not saying that they might not be doing something but they still connected because okay. you could tell with that that type of okay. uh, energy so you just gotta pay attention to the signals because when somebody's when when Two parents are mature and they co-parents and they do their thing. You could just tell it; they don't interfere with each other's lives. And yeah. their lives you can almost feel time. like, oh, there's yeah, nothing, you could yeah, most of the time, there. yeah, yeah, most of the time. Yeah. So we go. Last commenter said, "What about you? What, what about you over there, huh? Who, me? Yeah, mm-hmm. you, you got any interference? No, nah, <laughs> nah, listen, no. Nah, look, I read the signs. I read the signs, man. You what know what I mean? See, you and I'm coochie checking. Whoa. Wait, <laughs> can we, can we, can we <laughs> pop into that? Yeah, that thing, you, want, you want me to elaborate? Yes. That thing better be tight tonight. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, listen. I'll, I'll let you go to the next Yeah. <laughs> now nah, you got me started. Coochie checking. I'm coochie checking. I, I'm going to put that on the shirt. Hold on. Hey, I'm coochie checking. <laughs> Nah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> tastes, tastes, tastes a little rubbery. <laughs> I'm about to fuck you up. Excuse my language. <laughs> yeah, this thing ain't tight. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the last comment is said. If you single with kids, date people with the kids. That's not. That no, don't matter. No, no. You don't think so? No. I mean, I was single with kids, and I didn't date people with kids mm-hmm. half of the time. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it really depends on the who you who you, who you are. Yeah, it's just the situation. Yeah, it depends, it depends on, on the person. Yeah, because it's like, again, <clears throat> single with young kids, be, be you got to just be pay attention to, the, to what's yeah. going on. Because, yeah. again, with young kids, if you have, again, if you got two good parents, they're going to be, they're going to communicate more because the kids are smaller. So, it's like, yeah, just pay attention to the signs. But, Shoot, it don't matter if a person don't have kids, because what if again, what if you meet a woman who can't have kids? Yeah. So yeah, that, listen, El Boogie said that's dumb. Now you need two babysitters. <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen, can you imagine? Can you imagine? You- oh gosh. <laughs> like what are you talking about? <laughs> All right, listen, so shall we side to the next video? Please. Oh, listen. El Boogie said that uh, he couldn't hear Peanut. So let me see. Uh, let me see if we can hear El Boogie, let me know if you can hear Peanut now. I think he was probably just talking about me. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. El Boogie, let me know if you can hear Peanut. He can hear, it's just I'm the interference. <laughs> no, no. Are we talking you about sure? Peanut? You tr- uh, I don't know. You, I think that's what no. it was. I think she was old. Too. Yeah, he could hear. Put the thumbs up. Yeah. But no, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because you know, I mean, Pina ain't work. Pina gonna work tonight, guys. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I put her on punishment. She be like, "Why are y'all out here playing my games?" Because your ass wasn't working. Hold up, we got to slow down because we got to pay her too. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she be like, "Oh, where, where my money? money? Where, where my money at, Daddy? I didn't even want it. I'll work for free. Child, child labor laws." <laughs> All right, so video number three. What we got? Video? Are we on number three? You on number, number three. three? So video number three. How would you handle this situation with your partner and their parent? I mean, we're gonna let Peanut start this off. God damn it! It's yeah. Fish Jump Podcast. Oh, let's go. So what's wrong with boundaries? I mean, what do you mean by boundaries? I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. It's How? really making me uncomfortable. It is your mom. But she 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 doesn't know boundaries. Tyler, what don't you understand? Okay, so can you can you alright, so I'm gonna give you an example. So if we was to go on vacation or I don't do wanna hear no movie, example. What I'm about just, how I feel? <laughs> so so it's 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 your it's your mom over me? You don't care about how I feel? It's a great balance between 
But it's always you, but it's gonna be my no, mom no. too. Miss Audrey, ma'am. Mom, my mom. Excuse mom. me. Shit, don't go, please. Audrey, please. Tyler, right. shut up. Right. Audrey, let me get you straight. That's my son. I don't know how you grew up or whoever raised you, but that's mine, okay? And that's what I need you to understand. It has nothing to do with you. My boundaries, you saying that I go in your stuff, no, I'm cleaning it because you're nasty. Tyler, I told you you could have did better a long time ago. I love her. No, you don't. You I don't do know what really, do You really. couldn't possibly know what love is, Tyler. She's only with you for your money. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You, what shit, do you do? Huh? What do you do for a living? You, you, you do nothing. I have an online you business. You just want to sit here and be cute. I have cute, an online uh, business. But what money does it make? It's it Tyler's me, money. It makes money. No, it it's makes, Tyler's money. It's we not were, your money. Who asked you to it's come not, in here? No one asked me. My son pays bills here. You don't pay bills, sweetie. Mom, okay. You don't pay bills. Mom, you mom, pay mom, no mom. bills here. So you, are you, you going to let her talk to I can talk to her anyway. I please, because guess what? You came from me, Tyler. No, I'm saying, though, come on. You can't be disrespectful. This is way too uncomfortable. You can't be disrespectful. You know what, Tyler? This is my lady. You can't be doing this too much. Damn. That's crazy. Tyler ain't getting no Tyler, yams. Tyler, you getting no <laughs> cheeks for the next two weeks. No cheeks, two weeks. You killed yourself. Now, Tyler, I, I do you. understand what he say is a great balance. Yeah. Between mom and, and no, like how, you shouldn't have to make the man choose. However, Can as a shouldn't. woman, his mother, she should have respect for her as an adult. Tyler, I yes, agree. that may be his her son, but he's an adult. He's not a little boy. He should be able to make his decisions. So why is she interfering between in between their relationship? I don't I don't like that. Because, Luckily, I have know been why? fortunate. I guarantee Luckily. you that woman has to be single. I can almost guarantee you that woman has no man. So she sees Tyler as her, her man. Yep. So she wants to. Yeah, she's true. probably been trying to control Tyler's life since he was born because yeah, she, hasn't, she still is. She, and he's allowing her. She, she said, Tyler, shut up. But, and he shut up. Well, that is crazy. Well, he's he's respecting his mother. So I, do I, I understand that, that part. But, but whose I, house is that? that? Yeah. Like you can't come in here talking about some. Well, my son paid the bills. Well, mom, you don't pay the bills here either. So you got to you got to pipe. But you know what I do? I, I, I got to give the girl some her kudos. She was very respectful. She was. I she was very calm. I raised her voice. You mm -hmm. know, and she tried to speak in a respectable manner, regardless of what that lady was saying. But because she was off the chain. Fortunately, she I've never been in no situation like that. I've never had nobody's mom not like me. However, that lady either, like y'all said, don't like her because she's taking Tyler away from him. Because That's now what it he is. doesn't. Yep. Now she's not getting the attention that she wants from Tyler. That's and now she's is. probably telling the whole family lies about her that may not necessarily be true. But which is going to make the relationship for her and Tyler uh, difficult because now, like, if the family don't like her, it's going to make him like want to constantly choose between her and his family. He shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. And what? Hold on. Let me read some of these comments. So, so Ty says, "No, that's not respect to shut up when 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 she says shut up, but he allowed mom to be a beast." Yeah, because again, it's still it's still my mom. Like at the end of the day. I still have this level of respect for her because of who she is. So he shut up because he's that he's that respectful son where he could have said to my mom, 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 like, hold on. Don't tell me to shut up. Like we having a conversation right. that's, that's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. He could have said it. But I understand why he didn't because he's probably again. He's he probably, probably don't want her to escalate. Not she, even that. He's used to doing He's that. probably he's probably used to that. So he just knows. All right. I'm never going to win if I say anything. Right. So I'm going to just be quiet. So I, I get that part. But at the end of the day, it's like there is no mom like. Uh, it's like that that uh, From, video. Have you ever seen where the, the 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 guy pick up his mom and got his girl in the car, and the, the mom say, "Uh, uh you got to get out and get in the seat." seat. Yeah, it's yeah. like at the end of the day, my relationship is first. Now, this is the first woman in that spot. I understand you, mom, but you can't. And you're over always going to be. Yeah, mom. you can't come yeah. over here. And over. You almost can tell. I mean, I don't. I don't like to do no name calling, but you can almost tell that mom seems toxic no not seems mom she seems to no, like toxic seems she very is toxic. toxic yeah of course because at the end of the day even almost narcissistic no that's what it is it, it, even at the end of the day if the girl was using him for his money or whatever the, the situation might be it's not a mom business and it's still a different Tyler has it's, to it's learn a way. at the end of the day he's he's a grown man and he has to learn from his his mistakes and his experiences but, How was he going to learn? But it's also a, a different way to approach that. Yeah. You could approach it and say, hey, listen, from 
what I'm seeing, I feel like you using my son. Can, like, let's talk about it. She could have had the way. conversation privately. She, she could have had out. the conversation with Tyler privately and with the gun. She, hold hold she hold came up. out blazing. <laughs> Guns Mom blazing. said, "You don't know what love is." What? You don't know what love yeah, yeah. is. I'm gonna go to the. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to the comments. So the first comment said, yeah, mama needs boundaries. Facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. 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 She, she need to learn how to yeah. stay in her place. What, what do you say, T? I agree. Facts. Yep. All right. Second comment says, don't ever let your parents get in between your relationship. I agree. Nobody, not just parents, anybody. Like when I'm in a relationship, it's me and that man. Everybody else is on the outside of that bubble. I'm not letting, letting anyone else get in that bubble. And okay. I, th I think that for like... You know, your parents have the experience in relationship. Well, well, hold on. Let me rephrase that. I'll I'll put a caveat on it. If you if you have parents that have been in healthy relationships, then yes, I you can I, almost I, take their. I would I would you yeah. lean on them to, for their for their advice. But if your mama been single and mingling, <laughs> Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, in and out, she got toxic behavior. Then it's like, oh, why would I take why advice from you, you right? when you are not a good role model at the whole mm -hmm. relationship thing? So yeah, yeah. So last comment was, mom sound like she has a good point. No. Mom tripping. Uh, what what do you say? Whoever that said what that, mom probably do that to them too. Me, mom, <laughs> again. At mom the, tripping? Tripping because at the end of the day, you, you know what Tyler going to be? Horny be, and single because right, he ain't going to get single. no chicks. Living in his <laughs> Every time he try to come and, the, and mom come with that, you getting no buns <laughs> and you going to be on uh, Tinder or one of them and trying to find your way. he's going to be living in her basement. What do you say, T? He going to be living in her basement and she going to be loving it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I need, I need, I need you to go to the store for me. You, at, you, you, twenty seven, taking your mom to the ice cream parlor on the first warm day of the summer when well, you should be at the uh, the day party or the at the happy uh, happy hour. But everybody know, oh, no, there go Tyler. His mom go. His mom not too far behind. <laughs> yeah, no, bro. You gotta get her out yeah, of here. I mean, this your podcast. Listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think of the video. You know what I'm saying what. So that was video number number three. Number three. Yeah. yeah. You know Spanish. No, I don't. I do want to learn, Uno, though. Dos, yeah. tres, the only Uno. language you what? know is English? Yes. Well. In high school, I learned a trade. We didn't learn uh, a, a different language. Well, what trade you learn? Cosmetology. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, I got my license. Had my uh. license for 25 years. And you ain't over to do G is here? You Jezebel. You was a liar. <laughs> I did. Charlotte. <laughs> 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 there you Y'all yeah, see what I go through? She, she, she got my baby said, walking around. My baby got patches all in the hair and everything. You lucky we didn't have time because I was offered to do her hair. Got her a bonnet. What? And they offered to do her hair. Supposed to be a team. I got her the bonnet because you had the wrong bonnet for her. Hey, hey. Don't, <laughs> we dads. We don't know all that. Don't put my business out there. <laughs> you know what I'm Listen, dads, we got me on YouTube trying to. How you do this <laughs> shit? I'm looking. I'm looking. Struggle. You're yeah, struggling, boy. <laughs> I gotta get her to school. God damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so, so we got video, video, video number four. Number four. Number four. We got a man speaks on what it's like being sing a single man in your 30s. We all, we, 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 got something we, to we know CJ? about that. Mm. Yeah, we know about that. So wait, hold up. Before I start the video. So T, how would, tell me, how is it being a single man in your 30s? I, <laughs> I'm going to the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> this your podcast. He is so disrespectful. <laughs> Rita, <laughs> where Rita at? <laughs> <laughs> you get on my nerves. You just straight on oh, my let's nerves. Let's go. <laughs> it's not easy to be a single man in your 30s in America today. I just went to Starbucks to order a vanilla latte with an extra shot. And as I am walking up to the door, I happen to notice this beautiful girl walking up to the door as well. And she has a Death Cab for Cutie t-shirt on. That's been my favorite band since I was 14 years old. I am 32 now. That's 18 years of loving this band. So as I take, you know, I take a quick two-step to open the door for it. I'm like, hey... You have great taste in music. That's been my favorite band since I was 14 years old. And she looks at me and she just says, cool. And she walks straight to the counter, which I recognized I was giving up the first spot in line by opening the door for it. Not a big deal. When she gets to the counter, she orders a vanilla latte with an extra shot. And in my heart, I'm kind of like, 
That's pretty cool. What a coincidence. So I go up to the cashier when it's my turn, and I'm like, I'm actually going to order the same thing that she just ordered. She was like, great, it'll be right out. Now, there is no place to sit in the Starbucks. There's just this coffee tour area in front of the counter. So as we're both waiting, I just look over at the gal, and I'm like, so what's your favorite album by Death Cab? And she looks over at me with a glare, and she is like, stop talking to me. I'm not remotely interested. And she says it loud enough for the entirety of the Starbucks to hear, and everybody in the Starbucks looks at me, and at that point, the only sound I'm hearing is the chorus of, hey ya, and silence is loud. And I gotta be honest, I have never been such a deer in headlights. I had never been so immediately like, what did I do wrong? Uh, and everything in me wanted to just, you know, in hurt, be like, honey, I'm gay. You could do worse than me. But I wasn't going to lie and throw the gay community under the bus just because somebody hurt my feelings and was rude. But I have no idea where I went wrong there. I, 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 I'm so puzzled. I thought I was being nice. What did I do? Uh -oh. She wasn't interested, oh, man. He got to learn how to read the signs, you can, yeah, you man. You can definitely look at yeah. it a couple uh, ways. Hey, start off, bro. Start off. It's three things for me. Number one, there's a thing called like being smooth or having swag or there's they different things that it. like men have that make them attractive, not just by their physical looks. Mm -hmm. He had none of them. So that's number one. When you don't, when you seem awkward, like women can tell two things. When a man is awkward and when he don't have confidence. So like you came off real, I don't want to say weird, but it was just weird. So that's number one. Then number two. You like uh oh that so and so is my favorite group and I, how do you even know that she knows a group? It's a t-shirt. She could have just been wearing a t-shirt. Like he just he, he didn't have he didn't possess the skills to pull that woman. And, she, okay. and number three, but, she just was not interested in you, bro. Yeah, yeah. And just you you could tell like it's very easy to to know when a girl is not interested. She don't even give you any kind of inclination that she's wants to even say something to you so then you just let it go he okay. was tra just trying to her so again mm -hmm. he shows me he's the type of guy that's not used to getting women because you would know that if he you said it, he was well, gay. yeah yeah he didn't know, well, he hold on hold on hold on you that was number three <laughs> <laughs> i don't care how many, how many women, numbers <laughs> i don't care how many women deny me in my lifetime the one thing i ain't never doing is saying i'm a part of the lgbtqia plus community community it ain't ha that's now, not well you know yeah i but he's i believe he said because his his feelings was hurt but no but, but, i don't care but but, but before i pass I it to t uh, like i i, I hold, hold, I, hold I, on t now now ty says she could have said it in a different way she could have still has nothing to do with her being rude and nasty that's true yeah that right, is t. true I, I agree with you on a lot of things cj and today that is not one what the reason why is because it's just conversation if somebody's approaching, and that's the problem now these days, people think that, okay, just because someone says something to them, that doesn't necessarily mean somebody's trying to approach them to date them. Somebody could just, like, perfect example. I teach my sons to be, to, to have good manners, hold the door, say hello, and stuff like that. Just because they're doing that doesn't mean that they're trying to crack on you or trying to, trying to, mm -hmm. trying to get with you. So it's, it's about, you know, being respectable and have manners. So, she could have said it differently i don't agree with how she was like okay i'm not interested she could have just said okay well you know what uh you know you know she could have said it different yeah. i just don't Instead agree with put how, on blast. yeah i don't i don't agree with how she handled that because it seems like he was just really just trying to be nice honestly but if he is you know no gay, no 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 I, and no. I, and I, and I, he, he no. wasn't i i, I no. believe he said it that was just well, going to be his well, defense he, mechanism. That was, yeah, yeah, that no. was that was like yeah, uh, but not everybody something to try to protect his feelings. Yeah, but then also at the same time, okay, yeah, he was being a little weird because that's like if you if you think about it, based on what he said, three three different occasions. Okay, the first time he held the door. Okay, and now you holding the door. You said something about her t shirt. So by the second time you said something and you notice that she's brushing you off, I wouldn't even let said anything go. the he third should, time. He he so the second time he told some the, the type of latte or whatever she got. Oh, that's the same kind I'm that I'm getting. So why are you even paying attention to what I'm ordering? But then he and went then to go you sit go and sit down. Yo, and so that then that's yeah. when things get a little weird. Once you sit down and then you asking me what, what what's my favorite song by this group? Because now it's like, okay, now you 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 reaching too much. Like ahead, you're doing CJ. a little bit too much. Go ahead, close it. Take it home. <laughs> Again, at the end of the day, 
cornball tendencies. He he just he just it didn't scream like hey like he, 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 he just didn't. Just because somebody's a cornball means they don't they don't they don't deserve respect. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just saying at the end of the day, when you approach a woman like he didn't t to me he didn't have like that that it factor it was just like i'm pretty sure the way he's saying it right now is not hey so somebody has to have the it factor yes, to have a conversation yes because again if, if at the end of the day she's probably a woman she probably gets cracked on all day so she's just trying to fill out what this is he probably came over like hey oh my gosh you get a vanilla latte that's what i'm getting she like what the Okay. Yeah, well you got some people that are really friendly no. like that though I, and again they I really understand. are I, I mean it can be irritating but it's people that I know personally that are friendly and it's irritating as crap and, and I know them and they're like that every time I see them right so at the end of the day if that person tried to talk to you you would be like this person's irritating right. no so that's what I'm saying <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying by, by interaction three yeah like pull me you wear yeah, yeah, yeah like, you they, let, let it go so, we're, we're going, so, so one commenter said Get that passport ready, bro. <laughs> he ain't going over there and getting no, no play. Not with that. Man. So, all right. Another comment said, he's got to work on his appearance. You can't control your looks, but you can control your appearance. That's true. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree I with mean, that. I mean, he knows how to put it together. You, like, I yeah. mean. Yeah, I mean, listen, if, if you got that... If you got that, you don't listen. You don't got to be handsome. Yeah, but let's alone, just say but you, you got that swag. That's you what got I'm that, saying. Just say he just you know ran out mean? the door with a pair of sweatpants and a shirt. Like, but, and he just went to go just get his latte. Like, but I mean, if you still got the swag, you can make you can wear some. Because like, I've been sweats. outside with 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 work workout clothes on and and still get cracked on. Well, like, you're a woman. Men are cracked yeah. on with all women, so y'all could be in a cardboard box. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but with us, it's different. Like, you gotta you, even if he was cardboard out, with, box. even if he has. Uh, uh, his sweat clothes on or whatever yeah it's, again it's, it's what, the swag women call it big d energy you gotta just have that energy even if you don't got the d but you still gotta have the energy like you you showing up masculine if you coming up and you looking all frail and oh i got a latte and it's just like bro you don't seem like you got that energy that, yeah, exactly it's like nah it's it's, it's, it's off yeah, yeah. That's, you, that's, yeah right. that's right that's right this joint podcast y'all make sure you drop this a like drop joint. a comment like, comment you know what I'm saying? tell us what you think it's what last video last video damn yeah. I'll be flying. They do. Yeah, you know I was asking. So we got video number five. We got a woman who's in tears after cheating on her husband. I is that how y'all feel all the time, T? When what? You're cheating on your husbands? Repeat that question again. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about. No, run that, run that back. <laughs> you know I mean? Run that, that back. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's just off, y'all. It's this joint <laughs> podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. So I um I I I did a thing last night. I did something that I shouldn't feel bad for, but I feel so disgusting. I do. I feel so nasty. Not because... of what I did. But, you know... how I felt after. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know. Okay, all that you know, and still never said what the hell you did. Yeah, you know, she you know she somewhere. did. Now I'm, I'm going to tell you why she crying. Because she thought about it. She said, damn, why let him raw dog me like Throw that? Throw baby. No, she, raw she, dogs your mom. No, raw no, she did something Paid worse than that. Paid her a visit. No, she done, she done did something worse than that. Throw baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you know, T, start it off, T. Start it off, T. Where the hell do I start? Like, she was just irritated. Why, to me. why, why is oh she crying God. now? I, why do you say, think she's crying? I don't now? know. Like, for attention? Like, they don't even look like real tears. Like, chick, just say what the hell that you did. Like, come on. Well, we, we, she know, we, know what she, we know what she did. Mm. And she got caught up in the moment. 
I'm uh-huh. confused. I, I don't know. Uh, go ahead. What, what did she do? When she said, so much. I, I should, something I should have did, but I shouldn't. I'm but confused. But then she said, now, I don't so, feel bad. So, so what do you think? Is, is she should she thinking that she should have cheated a long time ago? What? Like, she, she probably caught him cheating. Like, you know, I'm, I'm revenge. This is a revenge cheat. No, I'm gonna get no, you back. Let me so tell you confused. something. Women and revenge cheat is never good. No, 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 no. It's, it's no. Women good. don't feel bad when there's no revenge cheat. It's BS. They don't? They, they enjoy it just like y'all men do. Yes. You did? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy hot habanero, like Honey I said. Honey dip tea. Yeah, whatever. Honey dip that's tea. One, that's one thing I never did before. <laughs> I never revenge cheated. <laughs> I might have proactively cheated. Pro- <laughs> See, and you the reason why we had to get the revenge. I never get the revenge. Uh, yeah. The motherfucker, <laughs> Avengers! <laughs> Assemble. No, I mean, I'm just like really confused. Like, I mean, what what's the problem? Like, what are you crying for? Like, you saying you feel bad, but I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. She, like, I, you, I, I, I listen. She when she said something, but nothing. When she was riding that banana boat, I'm pretty sure Dang. she wasn't crying. <laughs> so, uh, like, listen, sis. Like, again. Hey, it, it could be a couple things. She done mess with somebody, but maybe one of her friends, boyfriends. I don't know. No, I think she got caught, and now she just saw it. Well, well, you know, then that's a segue right into the comment. One comment says, remember, Kings, she wasn't crying when she did it. Exactly. Do you? You know what I mean? But she's crying. So that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm confused. What the hell? Like, what is your problem? Yeah. Like, what are you mad about that you did? I, Obviously, you was loving it in the moment. I think, she, I think she got caught or something happened. He found out or somebody found out. And now she just saw the No, assault. I don't think she. I think based on this video, she whatever she did, she didn't get caught yet. It, it seems like it's something that she did. And now she's yeah. she's like. Like her, in her head about it. Her conscience is not making her cry like that. Something happened. That, that's what I'm talking about. Look, second comment says, I feel bad about uh, she's I feel bad about something I shouldn't. Tells you everything you need to know. That's what I'm saying. What you feeling bad about? Yeah. Because if you it, felt it bad, you why would you do it? But then it also tells you nothing because she sat there and said nothing. Oh, oh wait a minute. What? Oh yeah. I'm hopeless and Victoria said, or maybe the person she cheated with played her too. Yeah, okay. That's a good one. I ain't think about yeah. that. That's that could have happened too. Yeah. yeah, you thought you was gonna get some uh yeah. some consistent. Yeah. <laughs> he said, he went, Hell no. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. She called him back. She's like, What's the way who this? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you said I know you from where? <laughs> Elementary school. <laughs> I don't know you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Look, another comment said. I had a woman that had cheated, cheated on her husband with me for the first time, and she started crying right in the middle of us messing around. Mm. But I kept going. You're damn right. Listen, I don't understand. Hey, 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 Listen, I don't know if you're crying about me or him, but I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Listen, look, at her. Uh, look, at her. look I, I, I ain't playing with y'all cheaters. Yeah. Oh, 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 look, y'all oh. are the reason why they had to the show cheaters. No, Some no, people no. like chasing you oh, around with the damn no. videos. Here she go, <laughs> with the cameras. Stop bringing up old shit. <laughs> this show is funny. At the end of the day, that, that, that does not define me as a person who I am. No, I was just that saying was a that the part show of my was past. funny. I said it was it was funny. No, that's I'm talking all. about me. Like <laughs> I'm not a part of that club anymore. You know anymore? That's why I said was. I, I'm yeah, speaking was, he, past tense. Yeah, he, I ain't he, talking he, about now. I said was. Take me to <laughs> oh, the Oh gosh! <laughs> 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 Look, the way they used to like between between the show cheaters and what was it? Uh, what's that show? What was his name? When everybody used to fight on the TV show. Jerry oh, you talking about oh, Jerry Springer? Yes, those was the show. Boy, I should, oh my I should, God. Listen, my, my pop pop. You are not the father. My pop pop boy, he used to he used to look at Jerry Springer every day, 11 a.m. <laughs> all day yes. long. Jerry Springer. Yeah, I mean. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. We appreciate all y'all's yeah, comments. This is your podcast, man. Yeah, thanks for locking in with us. There's a lot yeah. of people checking yes, in yes, today. Yes. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. <laughs> and to the haters, guess what? Please keep hating. We, yes, we appreciate it. We love it. y'all. We love the we comments. Love y'all. Yeah, man. And we love the people that are not haters, too. We love you of all. Course, we of course. We love you all. Yeah. That's right. This your own podcast. Look, <laughs> we stream every Tuesday night at 8 every o'clock. Tuesday. The show airs every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. Tuesday. And videos drop daily. Daily. Holler at your boy. 
yeah, and your girl. And your girl. Holla at your girl. Your woman. Your woman. Holla at your woman. That don't sound right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Holla at your woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about what it sounds you know like. <laughs> oh, man, let's get up out of here, man. This joint podcast, man. We love y'all. Peace. Deuces, y'all. Good Peace. Night. <laughs> Bitch, jump, podcast. Yeah. Oh. Deuces, we out.